What's up, Ever Grow Army? It's your boy, Skip the Legend. And what's up, YouTube? If you're new to the channel, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below, too. Turn on, guys, they turn on post notifications. Better, if I haven't said it yet, they should already be turned on. You should already know the drill. But let's go ahead and hop right into this video, go, though. Uh, I don't know why I said video, though, though. But Ever Grow Coin is currently sitting at six zeros three nine nine six seven two. And the actual the price after the announcement of Loon of uh, mm, almost spoiled it. The NFT marketplace's new title or actual title boosted it quite a bit, if I could say so myself. It went from uh six zeros three eight eleven all the way up to four to six zeros four one one nine. So that's a great amazing jump and leap for Evergrow coin, especially in that short period of time. But now we're starting to see some swing traders come into play. You see right here, there's this 16,000 roughly um selling um, 30, 30 uh, selling period, basically. You also had this thick candle of a $10,000 sell. But keep in mind, there's also some big buys happening, though. So I don't want to just highlight the sales. I just want you guys to be aware that there's going to be some there's some swing traders and there's some people that are selling this high and trying to take profits right now as you can see um in this time period right now and this I, I, you know i haven't said this in a while but i'm tempted to see if the buyers win this next um period do the buyers start coming back and overtaking this dip right here or take take this on this high right here or does the dip continue on and we drop back down to six zeros three eight but the market cap is currently sitting at 188 million point four um dollars. And when we look at the number of holders, it's at 138,404. So a nice little increase indeed. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when we look at the trading volume, relatively the same, if not just a little bit down. The crypto market is up 1.2% and that and it's at 1.9 trillion dollars in total value. Uh the 24 volume trading volume for crypto is at 100. Three billion dollars, and the Bitcoin dominance is at thirty nine point two percent, and Ethereum's dominance being at eighteen point four percent. But Evergo Coin strength volume is at one point eight billion million dollars. I don't know why I keep trying to say billion for Evergo Coin. When we get to that time, to that time period, I'll be happy. I'll be happy on my investment for sure. I'm already happy. I'm just chilling right now. But that'll just boost my, my like, just boost my head though. But Back to the video at hand. Pancake Swap, four hundred thousand dollars in trading volume. Digifinex, one point twenty nine million dollars in trading volume. L Bank, seventy nine thousand. Bitmark, twenty two thousand. And then Buy Box, one thousand. And then when we come to Bit True, we have one thousand three hundred eighty six dollars on Bit True. Now, how much trading volume is there on Bit True in total, though? Uh, that's a question that some people have me myself also the trading volume is now at 2.4 billion dollars on bitchu and as far as the trading volume on digifinex is at 2.5 billion so even though the trading volume has continued its way back up on digifinex the trading volume did not see forever grow coin did not see that same increase that's not a bad thing it's just something to take note of so don't think that every time digifinex's trading volume is going to is going up that means evergo coins trading volume is going to go up that that is not the case, all right? But it can definitely, but Digifinex's trading volume going up can be a massive catalyst for Evergrow Coins trading volume on their exchange. Now, back to Evergrow Coins NFT marketplace that I almost spoiled the name of is Luna Sky. Luna Sky, the world's most beautiful NFT marketplace, launching soon with huge competition. Follow at Luna Sky NFT for updates launch promo news and maybe some more stuff as well and then we have someone that made a uh, luna sky creator logo in the abstract objective reality with the wizard evergrow wizard and he just said he's just so proud of it. all the utilities um to be out in the project we support from the beginning will be aimed at fulfilling the huge potential that it undoubtedly has that so people are excited about this um this rightfully so it's a great we have a name for the nft marketplace it's not just going to be evergrow marketplace it's going to be luna sky marketplace we'll see how that goes though 
And Sam did do an AMA with um Leave Crypto India about Luna Sky and just Evergrow Coin as a whole. One of the things he touched on was he just talked about how the the NFT marketplace was going to help it with the burn of Evergrow Coins um circulating supply and stuff like that. He also said that the the guy also asked the question, when is Crater going to be out? Was there an ETA on um, Crater being out? And Sam said that all the devs have been placed on working on the NFT marketplace. And then he said that they're currently working on version two stuff um, for the crater. So I was kind of confused there. But basically, they're in the progress. The, the messaging system for crater was not where they wanted it to be. It wasn't very user friendly so or UI friendly. So instead they um instead of launching it they just kept it in the arsenal or just kept it in developments and are now just working on version two stuff while since they pushed it back or whatever so that's craters in all right as far as the but all the devs according to sam are working on the nft marketplace so if that being said he feels like the nft marketplace is more complex or at least it, it needs to be out sooner uh, from, based off what he was saying. So with that being stated, I feel like the NFT marketplace is going to be released before Crater. And if I had to give my rough, est rough, rough estimate, we're at the end of April. So I'm going to have to say mid to late May. And then Crater will probably be launched in June or July. If I have to give my honest opinion, but since he said version two stuff, I believe version two stuff was for Crater wasn't supposed to be launched or version two Crater was not supposed to be updated or out until quarter three. So I would think more in the quarter three period that we would see Crater version two or Crater in general, but that could not, that could, uh, since they're going ahead working on it now, it could be out sooner, but in my opinion, if there was going to originally come out with the Crater to Crater version two stuff in quarter three, then I expect it in quarter three of 2022. But I could be wrong. I could have been I could have read it wrong and it was actually quarter two or I could be wrong. And they're just making higher. They're making faster developments than I expected. But that's when I expect Crater to be out. As far as the staking pool is concerned, no news on that. No news on the play to earn game. He did. They did ask about the marketing wall and how they make funding for their um, utilities and stuff like that. And Sam talked about the 1% marketing aspect. And basically, they have $700,000 in the arsenal for um, all these utilities. And he said that's um, enough. That's I believe he said more than enough or just enough. That's enough for um, all these utilities. I strongly disagree because one of those utilities is a play to earn game. And even when you look at the games that are like extremely cheap, like let's look at Among Us, for example, that took $2.6 million to make because they had to pay the devs and all that stuff. And then you also have Tetris that cost millions of dollars to make. You got a lot of games that even looks cheap on the short, on like, the front end aspect of it or like in the gaming aspect of it, but they were actually million, they cost a million dollars to make. And I would feel like if the game that Evergrow Point is making is going to be of high quality, then it's probably going to have to be around, it's going to cost them around a million to five million dollars for them to make. But maybe he's saying they just, they already had money before and the $700,000 is adding on to it, which would be amazing. That would be amazing if they already had money before. They had millions of dollars before because they did change the marketing wallet to 1% from where it was before. And before we were seeing massive uh, volume with the um, higher um, percentage of marketing. So that would be amazing, um, adding that 1% being 700 k to what we previously had been trying to figure out how much it costs Axie Infinity to make their video game because then that would give me an even better rough estimate of how like how much it costs to make a play to earn game specifically a successful one at least which Axie Infinity is the best one so that's of course the one I'm gonna compare Evergrow coins to but uh, I couldn't find any information on how much it costs for Axie Infinity's game to be developed but uh, hey it, they, they it made them a lot of money at the end of the day, it made them a lot of money. 
And I appreciate you guys watching this video all the way to the end. If you want to get in for a chance at 100 to 150 to maybe even 300 million Evergrow coin, then leave a comment down below. Also, like the video, subscribe, and also turn on post notifications. And also go to Twitter or just share my channel or video with a friend. I will post a link and you can, or post, yeah, I'll post the link to my video. And on my Twitter page, and y'all can go over to my Twitter page and retweet it or do whatever. But make sure if you retweet it, it's a quote retweet, so you're actually saying some text with it. All right, don't just do a retweet and think I'm gonna let I'm gonna just be like, all right, I'm fine. I'll just give them 100 EGC. No, you gotta put some effort in. I put some effort in in making these videos for y'all and doing this research for y'all. So y'all gotta put some effort in for me too. But. After you do all that, then send me a screenshot. I'm going to try to follow you back as soon as possible on Twitter so that you can DM me. If I don't DM, or if I don't follow you back within like an hour or two, then like screen, just post a screenshot and tag me and be like, hey, scripted. I, know, I got you. But yeah, that ends tomorrow. So yeah, I got till tomorrow. Love you all. Peace.